Welcome back to another on shape tutorial. This is a lesson three extension uh, where I want to highlight sort of angled uh, faces um, and just look at some other techniques for creating objects in on shape. So uh, we have this angle fixture. Um, it's got this angled surface. It's got some holes. Uh, you'll notice that there's some fillets as well. Um, and we're going to take a look at creating this object uh, by first creating this L shape here that's defined by this sort of half inch wide, uh, two and three quarter tall um, web along with this three and a half inch long and half inch tall here. So we're going to make this L shaped first. I'm going to kind of show two ways how that works. Um, the quick way, sorry, the slow way and the quick way. <laughs> uh, so here we go. So we're going to obviously create a sketch. Uh, in our sketch, we always need to select our sketch plane first. We're going to select the front view. So we click the front uh, view normal to the front. And you can always use lines and just do a whole series of lines. And notice that I am inferencing so that I'm snapping to horizontal and vertical. and I don't necessarily have to worry about the size of each line because I can always go back and use my uh, dimension constraint. Uh, the height is supposed to be two and three quarters, so 2.75. The width here, 0.5. The length here, 3.5. And the width there, 0.5. So that is certainly one way that you can uh, create this object um, or create that L-shaped. I think a faster way to do that would be to use the corner rectangle tool. So I'm going to try this again. I'm going to go with the sketch front view. And this time I'm going to use the corner rectangle tool. Because what this does is this allows me to very quickly create that L-shape by simply creating two rectangles of the proper dimensions. And my L shape is done. So in many ways, this is much faster. The only thing that I like to do is I like to pull my dimensions out where they're a little bit easier to see and to read. And if I need to ever make an adjustment, I could easily make that adjustment if I wanted to. So back to 0.5. My sketch is done for that first part, just this L. Then I'll just need to extrude that. Uh, it looks like the extrusion will go back two and a half inches. So it'll be two and a half inches deep. So we'll go to an isometric view. We'll go to extrude. And I do need to select um, all the geometry that creates that extrusion. I can kind of freeform pull that extrusion. I can also click on the arrow to make it extrude backwards is where I want it to go. And it has to be uh, 2.5 deep. So two and a half inches deep. And that extrusion is done. So there's my basic extrusion for the angle fixture. Next, I'm going to work on putting in this sort of angle aspect. Uh, so that's going to be a sketch, but that sketch is going to be on the back face of the actual extrusion that I just created. So in here, I want to be sketching on this back face that I've created. So when you go to create a sketch, Instead of selecting one of the front, right, or top planes, you can select any face that's already existing. So I'm going to click this face, and I want to sketch on that face. So I'm going to look normal to the back plane, and I'm just going to sketch a line in here. That line, using the line tool, has to go from this top vertex down here somewhere. I want to make sure I don't automatically snap to a midpoint because then I won't be able to do my angle. I want to make sure that I uh, put my line out here somewhere. 
I don't really know how long that line is, and, and frankly, I don't really care. Um, that information, the length of that is not given to me, only the angle. Uh, so it's going to pivot around that vertex at 45 degrees, and that line will be as long as it needs to be in order to uh, intersect this bottom face. So we are just simply going to use our dimension tool, and we're going to dimension this line. And notice that it automatically wants to give me a length line. But as soon as I click another edge, the vertical edge or the horizontal edge, it automatically changes to an angle dimension. And I can simply type in whatever angle I want. And that establishes that line. My two-dimensional form that's going to form that sort of angled, this angled brace right here, uh, that sketch is done. I just need to extrude it. And that is exactly a half inch. So that little rib uh, is exactly a half inch wide. So I can check. I'm going to change this into the isometric or right click and view isometric and extrude just that little triangle. Extrude that triangle. Again, click the tip of that arrow to change the direction of the extrude. That needs to be a half inch. And I want to make sure that I am adding to the existing part so that it's the same color. If I say new, you'll notice it's a different color and you will also see two parts right here, part one, part two. So I want to make sure I hit add. So it combines it all, makes it into one part. Uh, at this stage, I think I'm going to uh, hide my planes. So uh, clicking P on the keyboard should turn your planes off. It makes it a little bit easier to look at. I can um, establish where my uh, holes will be. Um, one hole is actually in the center of this face, and one hole is uh, slightly different. Um, one inch over and an inch and a half back. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be actually using this hole tool as opposed to drawing a circle and doing an extrude remove. I will be using the hole tool, but that requires you to locate where the center would be. So uh, I think the easiest thing to do is create a sketch on this top surface. And all we need to do is place a point. I'm going to place a point on that surface, and then I will dimension that surface. So I'll, sorry, I'll dimension where that point is located. So I'll dimension that point from this edge. That should be one. I'll dimension that point from this edge, and that should be 1.5. And now I know that's the center of the hole that we'll be placing there. So now I can use the hole tool. There are options for different types of holes. We're just dealing a simple hole that goes all the way through. And we can select the size, the diameter of these holes, both of them times two. So this hole and that hole, the diameter is three quarters of an inch. So I can type in 0.75. Um, if I select this point, it's going to drill a hole centered on that. But since I have no point on this face, I can use this tool called the mate selector. Uh, the mate selector will find a face and basically find what would be sort of standard locations. So the ver vertices, the midpoints, and the centers of any face. So we have a hole right here in the center, and center of that face, and that creates that hole using that mate selector tool. And we're done with the holes. The only thing left to do is to add on the fillets, um, which are actually not dimensioned here, but uh, I believe they are a half inch. So we can use our fillet tool, 
we'll make sure it says 0.5 inches and we can select all three corners that need to have the fillet and we are done with our angle fixture thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for a whole bunch more uh, on shape tutorials